What's up, nail friends? These galaxy nails are what's up. Keep watching, I'll show you. And stay tuned till the end for a giveaway announcement you won't want to miss. Let's talk about how I achieved this galaxy. It was really simple with these polishes from Holo Taco. I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've suited up with my base coat, and because I'm using black polish, I suited up with two base coats because black polish will stain your nails. This is one coat black from Holo Taco, and after I added just a little bit of nail polish thinner, the consistency was perfect for me, and it's definitely opaque in one coat. Next, I add a layer of Cityscape from ILNP. I really just want the hollow in this polish, and I could have used a hollow topper, but I wanted to do it this way. I hadn't used my Cityscape in a while, so I went for it. If you're not familiar with ILNP brand, it stands for I Love Nail Polish. Check them out at ILNP.com. This next part can get a little messy, so I add a layer of liquid latex to protect my skin. I take a makeup wedge and my tweezers and I pick apart pieces of the makeup wedge so that I can use them to dab on the polish to create the galaxies. I start dabbing on the white polish using the makeup wedge pieces and the pointier the piece the better because you'll have more control over um, how much polish gets on your nail. If you have too big of a piece or too big of a pointy edge, then you're going to end up with a bunch of blobs and not a lot of control. I repeat this step on the rest of my nails and then repeat this step with the other two colors. I start with the blue, however, I forgot to film it on my pinky, so here it is on the rest of my nails. I don't completely cover up all the white, I do leave some of it showing because that creates just more dimension in this look. And back to my pinky, this time with the purple. The good thing about this technique is you don't have to be perfect. Time to remove the liquid latex. I smooth everything over with a layer of top coat. This one is from Glisten and Glow. It's been my favorite fast drying top coat for about five years now. And here's the finished look. Not, I can't leave them just like this. I mean, they look really cool, but I want to incorporate some unicorns. Keep watching, I'll show you. I utilize my unicorn plates from the July 2020 Manny by Me box with the idea in mind that the unicorns will be like a constellation among the galaxy. Instead of a plain white stamping polish, I use Frozen by Maniology. It's more pearlescent and I thought it would give this Manny just a little oomph. Oops, luckily that's fixable. A layer of smudge free top coat, and I'm ready to move on. This image was the real inspiration for this mani, but this nail couldn't go more wrong. Watch me mess up in three, two, and. And do you see what's happening here? The image isn't sticking. So if I would have used a sticky base coat by Maniology, it would have stuck just fine. But the face just came off. I try to reattach the head here because that's worked for me in the past, but it's a no-go. I fear not though. I add a layer of sticky base coat after it dried for a little while and I'm just gonna layer the stamp on top of it. But I don't need the entire stamp, 
So I take a piece of tape and remove the pieces that I don't need. I do some minor neurosurgery and reattach the head. And boom, my unicorn has a head again. I add a smudge-free top coat from Maniology. And I learn from my mistakes by adding a sticky base coat to my remaining nails. I use this same image on the middle and the index finger. This way, it looks like the other nails are looking to the constellation nail. I utilize my smudge-free top coat and one final step. I picked up these stars from Starly brand because I'm not that great at freehanding and I would hate to mess up this mani after all that work just to try to freehand and fail. I use an orange wood stick. You could also use a toothpick. And I just kind of place a couple on each nail randomly. I finish strong with my top coat from Glisten and Glow. And are you ready to hear about my giveaway yet? Hollow Taco brand is about to release a new set of polishes for their one year anniversary. And I want to give it away to you. To enter, subscribe to my channel then head over to my Instagram, Always Polished Life, follow me, and comment on this giveaway post by tagging your friends. And here's the finished look. The winner will be announced on my Instagram, July 18th, 2020 at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good luck, and may the odds be ever in your favor. I'll see you next time.